Three, two, one, activate. Can you remember the look of it? Style, control, damage, and aggression. So we've got a beer today from Pomona Island and it is a can of their style, control, damage and aggression. A IPA weighed in at 6.5%. Now this is quite obviously quite clearly a reference for me being someone born in the 90s, grew up in the late 90s and 2000s. This is obviously a reference to Robot Wars. Which, well, I was absolutely obsessed with growing up and so so yeah i've been looking out for this beer for a while and i finally uh managed to get hold of a can purely for the reference as much as anything um star control damage and aggression was the criteria they the competitor robots in robot wars were marked on if it went to a judge's decision um so yeah so pick up a can, it's time to play. Let's have a sip of a double dry hopped IPA. Activate. So, so yeah. Yeah, Craig Charles who presented it used to do like a little poem at the end. And it, I think that's what the description here is sort of like a sort of like a take on. Uh, it's hopped with Cryosimco, Strata, Citra and Mosaic. So yeah, I'm going to try that. Try just for fun of it. I'm going to try and see if I can get as many references to Robot Wars in this review as I can. So, yeah. So, can opening. There was a robot called Can Opener actually, so that could count as a reference. Oh, lovely. Uh, as yellow as uh, the paint on Bear Moth. Look at the colour on that. It's beautiful, looks like soup. Oh, the fruit is smelling razor sharp. Super punchy. It is a, it really is shunt in my uh, senses, the smell on this. Sorry, this is gonna be one of my cheesier reviews. Like Weedy Big Cheese, that was another one. I think I've got about four or five in now. Yeah, it's got a white head. Um, yeah, it smells, smells like a beautiful IPA, to be honest. At six and a half percent, it'll be chaos, too, if you, if you, drink, if you drink a few of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll be spinning like Hypnodisc. Ooh, that's super punchy fruity. Like a tutti fruity. It's a lovely thick body on it. It's lots of punchy stone fruit, sort of. Real peach and mango. Bit of lime as well. It's quite resinous as well. Sort of a slight sort of resinous flavour, just a bit of hops. Simcoe strata, citrus mosaic. 
So a bit of a dream team of hops there, isn't it? Yeah, citrus, bit of orange, grapefruit, blueberry, super soft, very drinkable, there's no bitterness. Certainly uh, not as sharp as Dead Metal's saw. Super juicy. Just a top class IPA, to be honest. And yeah, boy, for the reference, but I'm staying for the bloody quality of this um, beer, if I'm honest. It is, it's actually really nice. So soft. Just like an absolute tornado of flavours. This is cracking. Um, yeah, let's rate this one up. It's yeah, it's it's just a really nice IPA. Some absolutely beautiful flavors. Yeah, super soft, juicy, nice mouthfeel. Love the reference, obviously, as I've mentioned. Well, being serious and being on the beer, it's a cracking beer. Um, one I'd definitely drink again, and one I'm going to give a 4.5 out of 5. Really nice IPA, worth, one worth seeking out. So, yeah, that was me having a bit of a Sergeant Bash at reviewing this. So, <laughs> this has been uh, Style Control Damage and Aggression from Pomona Island uh, IPA. Please drop us your thoughts below, like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell icon, follow me on Instagram, Sam Drinks BYT, add me on tap, Sam Drinks 93 and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.